Okay, Rick, this is the Southport 29FE. I ran this boat earlier, and let me tell you, it is amazing. It's the middle-sized boat that we brought of the three, but it's got some big boat features. Well, it's you described it very well earlier. You called it yacht-like, and, and it is. It's certainly not built to be the fastest boat on the ocean, right. okay? But it's built wide, it's built tall. It is a beefy, beefy boat. Well, it really is, and if you look at it from a distance, you see a big Carolina flare in the bow, tumble home in the rear. This boat looks like a small yacht haul. It's 28 feet, 10 inches long. It's almost 29 feet, but it's 10 feet, 6 inches wide. That gives you a lot more planing surface. A, it may slow you down a little bit. B, woo, can it make you feel better if you're sitting drifting on a choppy ocean. Well, Rick, right before we go look at the interior of the boat, let's look at this walk-around gunnel because a boat this size can have a huge gunnel and a huge deck, and it does. It does indeed, and it's not wasting space like, like somebody who's not familiar with it might think. What a great place to cast at Cobia, like we did on a recent show, to set your lines. It's just a, it's a great area up here to stand on, very, very stable. All right, Rick, let's start off in the bow of the south port. The cushions are removable. And so you end up with a great big casting deck up here if you wanted to fish from up here or if you wanted to throw a cast net, you could. But you get to the sandbar, you've got the family. Table comes up, now you've got a great picnic place. Now you're going wine and cheese on me again, aren't you? I'll well, never get you over that. But you know what? If you've got a guy out there and he really wants to do hardcore tournament stuff, they make the same boat in a TE model. All this is gone and there is a big traditional coffin box up here for your SKA guys. Dave, you started it. You were the first one to call this boat yacht-like. Oh, do I love this console. Makes me feel like I'm on the bridge of a big sport fisherman. Well, it really does. You know, we talked earlier about it. it's got a full windshield that goes all the way to the top with a windshield wiper and a windshield washer. So when you get that little bit of salt spray on there, it'll knock it right off. Uh, the wind couldn't take my hat off with that windshield up there, I'm telling you. And it's amazing how much space you've got up here. Two 15-inch display units can stay up here with no problem. And really they've done a great job in putting this boat together in the rigging department too because we've got the joystick that we're starting to see on a lot of these larger boats. Even for an experienced captain like yourself, it makes docking so much easier. But if you take a guy that's a novice and he's got to learn how to run a boat, this can keep him out of trouble. But here again, let's talk about the family. If you look inside this console, this is one of the nicest interiors I've seen yet. It's got a real head in there, a lot of storage a granite looking uh, countertop with a built-in sink, very, very comfortable. And when you step down inside the boat, full head height. Even for me? Oh, for easy for you and I. Unbelievable. <laughs> but much by, somebody even taller, no problem. Ooh, Dave, I gotta tell you, the old charter boat mate in me loves this area right here. You can rig all your baits right here. You can keep them chilled on ice right there. You've got a 45 gallon live well and a sink over here. You can run fresh or raw water right out of here. Well, also, too, the bulkhead that separates the transfer from the cockpit, there's two additional wells back here that are also insulated. I guess you could keep more bait. Oh, you could. And you know me, as many fish as I catch, I go through a lot of bait. But once again, of course, you got your stern seating. More rod holders against the transfer. You can never have enough rod holders on a boat. All right, Rick, let's do a quick wrap-up of the Southport 29. You know one of the things I like best? It's just like me. It's wide. It is very <laughs> wide. It is a big boat. For only 29 feet in length, this has a yacht feel has a yacht finish to it too, which I've, I found nice. The big platform up front, okay, it just feels good standing up there. They've got it the right size. It, well, they do, and they've got the bow seating, and then you come to this console, which is absolutely gorgeous. A few other things we didn't even talk about. This boat, this is how you operate the boat, a key fob like your car. You hit a button, your battery switches automatically go on and off by themselves. You even have electric outriggers, so you don't have to crawl on the gunnel to mess with them. You push a button, they deploy automatically, you push another button, and they come back. Ooh, I like that. Well, as you come aft, the rigging station that you talked about, you've got tackle storage in here, your live well, everything's centrally located, so you don't have to run all around the boat to either use live bait or rigged bait. It's all right here. Lots of tackle stations. One thing we also did mention, dive door. We're seeing it on a lot of boats, but I love having a door back there. If you're pulling up to the sandbar, diving, snorkeling, it's just a nice, nice feature to have. If you're stepping down from a big sport fish boat, but you want to keep that feel, you want to keep that stable, I'm steady in the water feel, this Southport might be the best boat for you.